Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I, I must say I'm uh, I'm surprised. I haven't heard about the motion that was passed uh, that we weren't going to defy the Green Energy Act. Uh, I, I'm going to circle back and and tell you. My friend Phil and I went to see Mayor Shipway some weeks ago uh, to ask for this meeting that we're having tonight. And the singular purpose of the meeting in our suggestion was that we let the people of North Middlesex decide how uh, we want to respond to the Green Energy Act. And let's put it in perspective. What exactly has happened here? What, what is the Green Energy Act? <clears throat> well, first of all, uh, I want to say that democracy is something that emphasizes local control, local autonomy, and the right of self-determination. And the Green Energy Act obviously doesn't do that. Uh, but we had in this province the Ontario Planning Act. That's how we got projects done that required central planning. And the Ontario Planning Act was a very balanced and very refined uh, fair piece of legislation, and we got a lot done in Ontario with that act. But it has been sidelined by the Green Energy Act, along with 12 other acts that they've taken off the table in order to fast track, and, I'm, and that's putting it very politely, fast track these renewable projects. So what they have done, our provincial government has taken away every one of our rights, in regard to centrally planned projects. The Ontario Planning Act that we use to plan highways and transmission lines doesn't apply here. That, folks, is the crux of the problem. They've taken away all our rights to defend ourselves. All the checks and balances that we had have been removed from us. So with, with due respect to Mr. Kennedy, we didn't need a legal opinion about that. We know we have no legal recourse. We know that. And that's the problem. That's the whole problem. And, but we can do, as other municipalities have already begun to do, and that is exactly to defy the Green Energy Act. Why should we not defy an unjust act that will set the landscape for a hundred years here? We owe it to ourselves and we owe it to our children not to let the stroke of a pen destroy our community. The health effects are well documented. We know from across not only the province but the world. I had an exchange of emails with a Swiss doctor a couple of weeks ago and she told me it's from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth that they're having these problems. And she has she has done a literature review and she says the problems are real, they're significant, and these people are not all hysterical. They're legitimate complaints they have. And so for us to roll over and play dead just because they've taken away our rights would be a monumental failure on the part of this community. So I, I want to ask our council tonight to revisit that decision about not challenging the Green Energy Act and not defying it. Unjust laws are to be defied, not to be quietly obeyed. We have right now a situation where, <clears throat> really I would describe it as our provincial government is standing with its foot on our neck and we have a choice. We can quietly submit or we can defy them. And they should be defied. They have run from their responsibilities and they have dug us on a hole of huge proportions. So let's not let ourselves and our children down. Let's make sure that we fight them and we stop them. We don't want the turbines. A hundred municipalities don't want the turbines. And we are going to make sure that they listen to us and that they pay attention. And if, it, if that means defying an unjust law, then we should defy the law, no matter what it costs. And other municipalities are already doing that. Yeah. 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 So that's what uh, that's what I encourage, and that's what I would ask you to uh, convey to our council tonight. In fact, the idea for tonight's meeting originally was that the flow of information go not from our council to us, but from us to them. 
What do you want? Yeah. Thank you.